So let's see who else we should have circled on our calendars. Guys, I ask you, which two quarterbacks are you most excited to see duke it out on the field, Kyle? Okay. I, my eyes go to Brady as well, but maybe not the opponent you might think. I'm looking at Tom Brady versus Josh Allen. Because in all of the incredible stuff that the Bills accomplished last year, going all the way to the title game, there was something missing. There was something missing, and I feel like Tom Brady escaped the Buffalo Bills. He got out the back door. His head was not on a stake like Ned Stark. They never got their revenge on him. Josh Allen's never beaten him. John McDermott's never beaten him. Do you know that Tom Brady has beaten the Buffalo Bills 32 times? Is that right? 32 it's the record. Times? The, mo the record for one quarterback wins over any team in NFL history is wow. Brady over the Bills. By the way, the second is Brady over the Jets. Uh, and Roethlisberger over the Bengals. Now, here's this. Here's our, our, our list of victims. These are all starting quarterbacks of the Buffalo Bills who have lost to Tom Brady. We got Alex Van Pelt, Trent Edwards, J.P. Lossman five times, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and you'll see Josh Allen in the bottom left-hand corner, three. Look at the record from Brady. 32 and three. So the Bills, the Mafia, woohoo, rise up. You went to the title game. You never beat Brady. He was the greatest villain in the history of that organization. Mm. And now you go to Tampa, the site of the Super Bowl. Take him out. Take him out. And then you move to Mahomes. But you got business. You got business with Brady. I want to watch it. Do you want to hear how life comes full circle? Yes. This is so funny. I'm looking at that list. Can I, see that, can I see that list again? From Give me the list. Give me the list again. One more time. Anthony, if you don't mind, I'm just calling up for that full screen. because See right in the middle there, Thad Lewis, sure. one game. Do you know who the Buccaneers hired as an assistant coach to work with their quarterbacks? Yes. Take a wild guess. His name is Thad. Thaddeus Lewis out of Duke. So he is now coaching Tom oh, Brady great. after Brady was one. Of, he's one of a hundred Bills quarterbacks. I love how this that's great. Works. That's how it works. Byron Leftwich and Thad Lewis coaching Tom Brady next season. Uh, let's go to my game, Chiefs and Ravens. I, I feel like the Ravens have had so many big wins with Lamar Jackson, but there is one thing that they have not done, and that's beat Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes has Lamar Jackson's number. He's 3-0 all-time against him, and last year we hyped that Monday night game up. Like, this is going to be the clash of the Titans, and Mahomes came right into Baltimore and took care of business, which they have done every single time against him. Now, look, Lamar was close the first time in Arrowhead. He was closer the second time in Arrowhead. Close. And then last year, it it wasn't even as close. There was a couple big plays by Duvernay late that really made that game a game, but it was always Mahomes. You got to beat Patrick Mahomes if you're going to ever be relevant in the AFC. I think this is it. Like, this is the fourth time they're playing. You start racking up 0-4, 0-5, 0-6, 0-7. It's no longer just a narrative. It becomes reality. Who's Lamar's new fullback, Peter, from Michigan? Oh, he's got Ben the Bench Mason. That's, that's, game changer. that's, game who, changer. They, that's who they got in the fifth <laughs> round. But they did also get Oa, and they got some other players on that team. I think Rashad Bateman's going to play a role. Okay. Like the Ravens are... The Ravens are knocking on that door in the AFC, and they haven't. But the Chiefs are just monsters, mm -hmm. and that is something that they cannot slay. I need to see Lamar Jackson finally beat Patrick Mahomes before I can say, the Ravens are here to play. Yeah. That's a big one. 3-0. No 3-0. Right? Oh. Yikes, not good. I'm going to go to the number one and the number two overall picks. They get to score off against each other. That's right. Zach Wilson uh, and our guy Trevor Lawrence. I'm here for a Jags-Jets rivalry, and I think it could be that if these two quarterbacks are as good as we expect them to be. I like that we'll get to see them. Uh, it has some extra juice. Remember, there was the Chris Simses of the world, if you will. Mm -hmm. A lot of people saying that... Zach is better than Trevor, that he'll end up being better than Trevor. So everyone in the audience is so thirsty and parched. Everyone will be salivating over this matchup. Uh, and, I mean, everyone's going to want on the Jets side to prove that Zach, that's right. Zach Wilson is, in fact, better than Trevor Lawrence. I'm just here for a weird rivalry, and this could be that. So I'm excited to see these two square off, Nate. No doubt about it. And we've seen quarterbacks go one and two in the draft, so we're familiar with the sure. storyline comparing players throughout their career. I wanted to go a different route. You know, I'm a throwback guy and of course we love the NBA so I was thinking Lace them up. You know, who went one and two played the same position mm -hmm. and we watched their careers closely I'll take you back to 1992 NBA draft Shaq okay. and Alonzo Mourning great both great. centers and check it out hey. we got a Oh photo, baby. Does that make, does that, does that make Trey Lance Christian Leitner? Hey, strange. Hey. Come on, man. You beat me to the punchline, dude. <laughs> All right. But listen, so that first game where they matched up, actually, Zoe beat Shaq. They won the game 116 to 107, but I think it gave everybody a taste of what these guys really are. Check out these stats. Zoe, 27 points, 14 boards, and uh -huh. two blocks. Shaq, 29 points, 15 boards, and four blocks. Can we leave this picture up for the rest yeah, of the show? Of it. course. Just I knew you guys would love it. I, I knew you guys would love it. Is Shaq sure Alone. Look at Shaq's shirt. And, and listen, but but that gets you excited, though. And these guys both went on to have Hall of Fame careers. Of course, you would look at Shaq and say, well, he turned out to be the greatest center yeah. to ever play the game. But I like it because 
they both had the same amount of hype going. Shaq and Trevor Lawrence, very similar. Yeah. Like, we knew that Shaq was going to be the man. If he wasn't, you failed expectations. Trevor Lawrence, the same thing. How long have we been saying this guy is God's gift to quarterbacks like Shaq was God's gift to the center yep. position? And Alonzo Mourning, we all respected where he played, how he played in college, the same thing with Zach Wilson. And Shrakes, like you were saying, <laughs> there are a few other guys in that draft and that also Go makes on. a comparison from the other quarterbacks in this draft. Mm -hmm. There's Christian Leitner. Uh -huh. There's Dream Robert Teamer. Ori. Oh, yeah. Ori, okay. Then there's also Harold Minor. Oh, okay. Baby, Baby Jordan. Jordan. Baby Jordan. We have Trey Lance. <laughs> we have Mac Jones. Uh -huh. And we also have Justin Fields. One of these guys will end up being Harold Minor. All due respect. Two-time dunk champion. Two-time dunk champion. Mm. I just feel like the expectations were too high because they called you Baby Jordan. Mm. So I'm just saying these two guys came in, and we compared them throughout their careers. And when they played each other, yeah. we always got excited. That old-school NBA physical oh, yes. style of play. So hopefully, Could this be that? hopefully the Jags and the Jets, Trevor Lawrence versus Zach Wilson can bring that same type of excitement because we need it. We need a one and two that we can watch for years to come. You guys get so different. It's the best. The Does Trevor Lawrence hang with Foosh Nickens ever? No. Oh! What's up, Doc? Can we rock? Can we rock? Oh, gosh, it's the best. Uh, What's you, up, Meyer? We on fire? Can I ask you something? <laughs> Maddie Gukas. Nate, are you not done talking about...